Protests continue this morning. Here is a live look at the pro-Palestinian demonstration at Yale University in Connecticut. And the situation at Columbia is being mirrored on college campuses all across the country. Including right here in the Twin Cities. Bill Keller is live at the U of M, where every day for over a week now, we've seen a number of pro-Palestinian protesters grow. Bill, good morning. Good morning. In fact, this morning, now that the sun is up, you can see there's about 30 tents that remain out here this morning. They are set up in this uh, encampment on the north end of the mall. This is right outside in front of Northrop Auditorium. Really a much different scene here at the U compared to what you just saw at other college campuses around the country. One protest organizer telling me what appears to have made that difference really has been the overall response from university police. In fact, late last night with those large crowds of protesters, well, they were given orders to disperse, but University of Minnesota police had never enforced that order. In fact, in a message to the students and faculty, university leaders urging all who engage in protests here that they remain nonviolent and peaceful. As for the second week, the students at the University of Minnesota stand in solidarity with Gaza. You know, I'm hopeful. I'm really hopeful. I feel that this cry that students are making around the nation is being heard around the world. I see images of the people in Gaza spray painting on their tents. Thank you, students. That gives me hope that we are making a difference. Yeah, in fact, as the group of demonstrators continued to grow Monday afternoon, a dozen buildings here along Northrop Mall, they closed early at 2 p.m. They'll remain closed all day today. All other campus buildings on the East Bank will only be accessible to faculty, staff, and students. They'll need their U key card. Now, the demonstrations, by the way, are having an impact on all students because the university essentially canceling all classes today, making this a designated study day. Tom and Alex, though, still unclear how long this will continue and how it might impact uh, finals and graduation, both set for later this week. Back to you. Yeah, all right. Uh, thanks. Bill Keller, we know the protests continue at the U of M. Thank you.